Ninja Delta Youths sent serious warning to Peter Obi after he seriously accused President Tinibu over Lagos Calabar Highway. This is serious, as ones begin to ask what kind of brutal warning the Ninja Delta Youths are giving to Peter Obi. Anyway, if you are just joining us, you are welcome to Bliss Channel. Please kindly do well to share and subscribe to Bliss Channel. And do not forget to give us a feedback. So guys, let's quickly hear the content of the report. Youths from the Ninja Delta region have issued a stern warning to Peter Obi the presidential candidate of the Labour Party and other critics, urging them to refrain from obstructing the progress of the ongoing Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project initiated by the administration of President Bola Tinibu in a statement shared by Tinibu's special advisor, Bayo Ananuga, on his official social media handles, Izo Ebi, the coordinator of the 21st century youth of Niger Delta and agitators, with conscience cautioning against the discouraging the federal government effort in realizing what they deem as a significant milestone for the Niger Delta region. While expressing appreciation for Tinibu's approval of the coastal highway projects, the group emphasized that it represents both a political and economic triumph for the current administrations. They highlighted the potential of the highway to spur economic growth and revive tourism in the Niger Delta region once it reaches completion. While applauding Tinibus for authorizing the construction of the highway, the group hailed it as a strategic move with both political and economic implications for the region. According to the group, the completion of the project will not only stimulate economic growth, but also usher in a new era of tourism development in the Niger Delta region. The statement emphasized the group's perplexity regarding the opposition to the project, questioning whether it stemmed from the absence of similar developments in their respective regions or from underlying animosity towards the people of the Niger Delta ascertaining that their support for the president's President Bolatinibul initiatives. The statement concluded with a clear warning to distractors, including Peter Obi, to stay away from impeding progress in the region. It is worth noting that Peter Obi had previously voiced his opposition to the project, drawing criticisms from the Minister of Works, Dave Umahi, who accused him of inciting ethnic tensions against Tinibu's administrations. The federal and Nigerian federal 
government estimates that the completion of the highway will require an investment of 2.8 trillion naira for its final completion. So guys, how do you see to this matter and this development as regards the Niger youth warning Peter Obi to stay clear from President Bola Tinibu on the Lagos Calabar Highway project. As is well known, Peter Obi is one of the strong opposition to this present government led by President Bola Tinibu to checkmate their excesses and the level of embezzlement in the interest of the common man, in the interest of the vulnerable ones in the country. So I feel it is not out of place for the person of Tinibu, and that is Peter Obi, to check the SSs. How could a government spend 2.8 trillion naira for a project while the masses are wallowing in poverty, wallowing in stress and pains as a result of economic hardship? While the governments are spending trillions of naira on projects, I think these are the points Peter Obi is looking up to. So guys, how do you see to the actions of the Ninja Delta youth towards this warning for Peter Obi to desist from the Lagos Calabar Highway project by Tinibu administration? Please kindly feel free to share your opinion and your thoughts on the comment section. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up as you share and like this channel.